It's been a while since I made my previous Bright Assures update video, but quite frankly, nothing much has been happening. The team is hard at work to get the game release ready, and by the sounds of it, the game's target of releasing in Q3 will be met. This is great news, something we will discuss in this video, and other tidbits of information that were released over the last two-ish months since the last video. Things like, will there be PvP, and what is this new profession? If you're going to enjoy this video, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new if you want to stay up to date with everything Brighter Shores, plus we're trying to get to 10k subscribers by the end of 2025. Join the Brighter Shores Discord down below, enough waffling, my name's Chevelle Rick, and let's talk about it. Before we get into the real juicy stuff, we will discuss some smaller thing that happened first. Sorry guys, I gotta play into the YouTube retention rate algorithm here. Here's a video of some flame traps, which look to be protecting these artifacts. I wonder if this has something to do with a possible thieving profession in the game, as Gower stated that we need to find a way to get to the artifacts. Don't worry, I was just kidding about keeping you guys in suspense. Next up, another profession that will be introduced in Chapter 4, the Detective Profession. For those unfamiliar with the profession system and how it works, there pretty much are your RuneScape skills, which you unlock a few of with each chapter. So instead of having them all available at once, you unlock them by progressing through the game. This is done to not overwhelm the player with a shit ton to do at the start. For more information, check out the video in the cards, which I will also link down below. So, the Detective Profession. By the looks of it, it kind of seems like a mix between the court summons from RuneScape 3 and your average quest in any RPG type of game. You start a new bounty by going to a bounty icon, which you then follow up with finding clues. On the image shared, it shows you need to find 3 clues, and once you've done so, you gotta pick a culprit, and if you get it right, you get some XP and gold. I wonder if these are randomized or fixed, which is hard to tell from the image. If they are fixed, then this profession will probably get stale real quick. But if they're not, this might actually be quite interesting, especially if the clue hunting becomes harder the further you progress with more clues or harder to find ones that require you to go to more dangerous areas. Okay, PvP. Probably the most asked question I see in my comment section and my Twitch chat whenever we speak about the game, link in the description by the way, will Brighter Shores have player versus player combat? And the answer is yes. Brighter Shores will have optional PvP, meaning that it's not forced content to progress, at least that is what I take from that. Gower states he had it in mind since day one and has been thinking about it for years to come up with some good ideas to make it work well. It unfortunately will not be there when the game releases, but will be added later without a save reset at the end of early access, as the game will not be considered complete or fully released without the addition of PvP. Now, for anyone who knows me, you know that I have strong feelings about PvP and RuneScape, mainly as I feel that it causes more issues than it does good but i do like the element of pvp player versus player in consensual matches it brighter shores introduces a system that is for the people who enjoy that playstyle without forcing who don't into it then that is a win for me and could make pvp and brighter shores really good release date well according to gower they're on track to meet their q3 target q3 ends in september so there you go, Brighter Shores will release in probably late September, which is perfect, as it gives everyone who plays RuneScape 3 enough time to play before Group Iron Man comes out, and the old school players enough time before Varlamore Part 2 releases. And that's all I have for you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, let me know in the comment section down below what you think, and my name is Javelric, and I'll see you guys in my next video.